Hello everyone, welcome back to Luis Discusses Everything. In today's video, we're going to discuss the 2024 Senate election prediction. So I did a recent video related to the 2024 presidential election prediction. Now I'm going to do one about the Senate. And this is the consensus map um, in relation to what the political pundits are saying are the most likely swings or political characterizations for each state in this cycle. And this is effective as of February 22, uh, 2023. So it's pretty outdated at this point, I guess you could say. But then again, much of the prediction data has not been updated, right? We haven't had that much in the way of polling. In fact, let's look at some of the uh, Senate polls as of late, or let's look at all the polls as of late. I would say that um, the we can look at the Senate polls. Yeah, we haven't had that much of an update yet. So let's go back to the interactive map. So this is according to them, right? Um, combination of pollsters. And I would say I would agree with most of them with some exceptions, right? This is a very bad map just right off the bat for Democrats, right? You have Republicans started with a 50 seat already right off the bat advantage um, versus 47 for the Democrats, right? And this is like um, not even taking into consideration that it's a 2024 um, year. That means a presidential year. That means um, whoever controls the White House could very much to determine control of the Senate. So it's going to be an uphill battle for the Democrats in this cycle. Um, this could be, I mean, this is could be easily a slam dunk for Republicans. If, if they mess up this one, just like they messed up in 2022, it will be um, frankly embarrassing for them because they only need to capture one of these, even without winning the presidency. They just need to capture one of these and they win the Senate. So, um, I would say much of this is accurate. There's no way Florida is going to the Democrats. No way Texas is going to the Democrats. There is an eh case for West Virginia. I um, guess you can argue that Manchin's going to lose there because he's just so unpopular now, even amongst Republicans. And there's an okay Republican running in the Senate. So I'll, I'll keep it Republican at this point. Um, but with regards to these states... It's these are I, I just don't see much of an advantage for Democrats, much, much opportunities for Democrats, especially with an unpopular president and unpopular like ticket basically running on their side. Right. So I won't say that it's going to be read all across the board, but I will say um, let's just give the best case scenario for Democrats. Right. Let's say they captured Arizona. I, I think. Ruben Gallego really is running a strong campaign. And uh, in the polls that we have, the small polls that we have, that it's actually the uh, one of the few states here that actually has data to go off of. Um, that's how early we are. Um, I think he has strong enough uh, of a base to counter um, uh, cinema's third party run or independent run in the state. So I think this state will remain in Democrats' hand, Democrats' hands, including the fact that it's trending leftward, right? In the case of Montana, there is a case to be made for a Republican comeback here. In fact, that is the winning case. That is, um, a lot of pundits say that right now. This is like a swing state, but but John Tester is just so popular in the state that that it's it's you can see it going either way. I'm going to be generous, and I'm going to give this one to the Democrats as well. Let's say he wins by a very narrow margin. Like, he, he's able to squeak by, um, let's say, Republican um, outpouring of support is not as big as it should have been, right? Let's say, let's say that. Sheriff Brown, however, he is popular, but Ohio has just shifted so much to the right that I just don't see this state going to the Democrats anytime soon. So I would give then the Senate to Republicans 51 to 49 in this 2024 matchup. Um, 
I do still see the Democrats winning the White House. So I'm going to give the VP slot to the Democrats. But it still gives the Senate to Republicans as of now, June 2023. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.